Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mel and for today's lesson, we're going to focus on how to multiply rational algebraic expressions. Let's have our first example, 4x over 3y and 3x squared y squared over 10. Okay, so we write it first. How do we multiply fractions? That's numerator times numerator and then denominator multiplied to the denominator. So this becomes 4x times 3x squared y squared over 3y times 10. After that, we need to factor each monomial. 4x becomes 2 times 2 times x. 3x squared y squared becomes 3 times x times x times y and times y over 3 times y becomes 3 times y and 10 becomes 5 times 2. After that, we need to cancel the common terms. So these are 2 and 2, 3 and 3, y and y. Since wala nang common terms, we need to write the remaining terms. So these are 2 times x times x times x and times y over 5. Simplifying this one, this becomes 2x cubed y over 5. Therefore, the final answer is 2x cubed y over 5. So we just multiply the numerator to the numerator and then the denominator to the denominator. Let's have another example. Find the product of 4x minus 4x squared over x squared plus 2x minus 3y and x squared plus x minus 6 over 4x. Okay, we write it first. So how do we multiply? That's numerator times numerator and the denominator multiplied to the denominator. So this becomes the quantity of 4x minus 4x squared multiplied to the quantity of x squared plus x minus 6 over the quantity of x squared plus 2x minus 3 times 4x. After that, we need to factor each monomial and polynomial. So if you want to learn more on how to factor monomial and polynomial, link is available at the description below. So 4x minus 4x squared becomes 4x times the quantity of 1 minus x. Okay, next, let's factor out x squared plus x minus 6. So ano yung factor ng negative 6? Now when you multiply them, the answer is negative 6. Pero pag pinag-add mo sila, or pinag-subtract mo sila, the answer is positive 1, which is the middle number yung coefficient ng x. Ayun ay x minus 2 and x plus 3. We have a negative 2 and positive 3. Pag minultiply mo yan, the answer is negative 6. Pero pag pinag-subtract mo yan, the answer is positive 1. Okay, next, for x squared plus 2x minus 3, ano naman yung factor ng 3? Now, when you multiply them, the answer is negative 3. And then, kapag pinag-add mo sila or sinobtract, the answer is positive 2. And that would be negative 1 and positive 3. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. And negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. So, yung factor niya ay x minus 1 times x plus 3. And then, we copy 4x. Next is, i-cancel out natin yung mga common factors between the uh, denominator and the numerator. Ayun ay si 4x and we have x plus 3. Meron pa bang common between the numerator and denominator? Uh, so far, wala na siya. And we copy the remaining. So for numerator, ang natira na lang after we cancel out is 1 minus x times the quantity of x minus 2 over x minus 1 naman sa denominator. Next is, we multiply this one using the FOIL method. So the first term, which is 1 times x, becomes x. We have the outer term, 1 times negative 2 becomes minus 2. The inner term, which is negative x times x, kaya meron tayong negative x squared, plus the last term, kaya meron tayong 2x, kasi negative x times negative 2 is plus 2x over x minus 1. So we combine like terms, 
we have negative x squared plus 3x kasi x plus 2x is 3x and we have minus 2 over x minus 1. So, kung pwede pa siyang i-factor, pwede natin i-factor out para may makancel kay numerator and denominator. Since kapag pinactor out natin siya, wala nang ma-cancel out from numerator and denominator, then this could be our final answer. Thank you everyone. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to comment. I'm happy to answer any questions. Please subscribe for more math videos. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.